Anyways, let's get back to the email here. He makes this comment, soft tissue in dinosaur bones does not prove a young anything. And the scientists working on that material understand that where you don't. Okay, and Dr. Sarfati's response was, real science shows that there is soft tissue and protein and DNA in dino bones. Real science shows how fast these things break down, especially DNA. What real science does not show is the millions of years dogma. But since the discoverers believed this dogma, they were extremely skeptical at first. Mm -hmm. you know, and then he quotes uh, Dr. Mary Schweitzer, who is a pioneer in this area and she not is. a creationist, yep. uh, by the way. She believes that the bones in which uh, she's finding this material really are millions of years old. That's right, yeah. And, and you can see her struggle yeah. to reconcile her beliefs about the age of the bones with the incredible discoveries that she's making in the lab. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Dr. Schweitzer said, when you think about it, the laws of chemistry and biology and everything else that we know say that it should, have, it should be gone. That's right. It should be degraded completely. And, and no, that's real science. Yeah. Okay. The rapid uh, decay of organic material is an observation. Anyone who disagrees with that observation can do the test you themselves. Do it yourself. Yeah, throw a piece of meat out on the lawn and you can watch it decay. Um, she also said that, that when the soft tissue was first discovered, and this is an interesting quote, it was totally shocking, she said. I didn't believe it until we'd done it 17 times. Mm. So her beliefs about the bone's age, being millions of years old, caused her to doubt what she was seeing in the lab. So she made absolutely sure that there really was soft tissue and what appear to be blood vessels and blood cells there in a T-Rex bone. 